Welcome back to Math Smash. In this video, we're going to be looking at the commutative property of addition and multiplication. Here's our vocabulary. Well, our first obvious vocabulary word is the commutative property, and that's what this video is all about. Factors. These are two numbers that you multiply together to get your answer. Addends are the numbers that you add together to get an answer. Okay, the commutative property is a rule in mathematics that is used only in addition and multiplication. It says it does not matter in what sequence the numbers appear in, the answer will always be the same as long as the digits remain unchanged. So in terms of addition, if we say 3 plus 7 plus 9 will sum to 19, so will 9 plus 3 plus 7 add to 19. In multiplication, we can see that 7 multiplied by 8 gives us a product of 56, and 8 multiplied by 7 also gives us 56. So again, the sequence of the factors doesn't matter. They'll still give you the same answer. Okay, have a look at this word problem. Irene, Jake, and Abdullah are helping tidy up after their PE lesson. Abdullah has 9 cones, sorry, 8 cones. Irene has 10 cones, and Jake found 9 cones. How many cones did they collect all together? Well, the commutative property says that, first of all, you can write the addends in the order that they appear in the question. 8 plus 10 plus 9 will equal 27. But the commutative property says that you can also mix those addends up. So it could be 10 plus 9 plus 8. That will also give you 27. And 9 plus 8 plus 10 will also give you 27 again. All right, I hope you found that helpful. Good luck. And don't forget to subscribe.